Today we are going to showcase one of our specialty cocktail blow dries from our in and out style bar menu. Today's blow dry is straight up. This style leaves you a shiny, healthy, and lustrous hair. The straight up process will tame even the wildest of hair textures, leaving you with a glossy, pin straight style. We're going to start this blow dry by using Head Start, which is a tensile strengthener. Next, for this blow dry, we're going to actually use a silicone based product called Straight Up. This will give the hair some prep for the day and make sure that the style has longevity. From here, we're going to rough dry. Most importantly, we want to flip flop the roots back and forth. We're actually not going to focus too much on the ends, just the mid lengths. We want the ends a little bit more porous. So if you'll notice, we're using a condenser nozzle to direct the airflow to go with the grain of the cuticle. And because we put ample product in, the product will actually take the heat abuse as opposed to the hair. What you want to do is keep the heat moving in even fashion. While the heat is on the hair, even though we're not using the brush to smooth it as much, you're still stretching the hair follicle out. You want to direct the roots straight up so you can get that maximum volume. Even though this is a straighter hairstyle, you still want it to have life. After we're all dry, we're going to flat wrap the hair from the roots around the framing of the face. I'm going to flip her head forward and do the same on the back. You can see how she does have a good amount of volume right at the root, so her hair won't be too straight and lifeless. Next, we're going to be using a product called Glitz. It's a silicone based shine, and more importantly, it also acts as a heat protectant for the hair. So after we spray the glitz on. We're going to utilize this flat iron's one swipe technology and embed that glitz spray in for the day. And you'll see the glitz actually makes the hair look a little bit of wet, even though it's not technically wet. And you'll see it steam right back out. So you're closing those cuticles down. The more we close them, the more light's going to reflect off of them hairs can end up looking like glass. It's important to get really good distribution of your product. Hold the spray 8 to 10 inches away, give several short sprays, and then comb it through. If she had a shorter bang section, we'd be very careful in the direction we're pulling the flat iron, so not to get any curl or bend. In this case, I don't think we run the risk. But you definitely want to put a little less product and apply a little bit more heat. So what I'm doing here is putting just a tiny inflection, a little bend on the ends, whatever direction you want the hair to fall, because we did just flat iron it straight up, literally. We're going to finish this style using a little transform. Transform is more of a sticky taffy. It comes out, it's stickiest, and it's up to you. It has some duality to it. If you want to use it sticky, or work it in your hands until it's more of a cream. And that'll tame just those few flyaways. And that is a straight up blow dry.